Hi, everyone, and welcome. It's another Training Thursday for Thursday, January 19th, 2023. Oh, it's me, George Bateman, Vice President of Communications for the Independent Contractors and Businesses Association, joined as always by Terry Vitale, Program Manager for the Training Department. The towel by name, vital by nature. This is an odd one because Carrie's in the office. I know. And, I mean, and, and I'm at home. Um, generally, when we Skype, it's usually the other way around. But uh, yeah, you know, it's when it's an of, off day. Yeah, it's totally. it's unusual. Yeah, I'm trying to have a writing day today, and um, so far it's going um, terribly. So this is great. <laughs> that seems to be the theme of this week. Jonathan and I were talking about that yesterday on our way down in the elevators. That I, I don't know, is it a full moon? Like, what's going on? But it's been a weird week. <laughs> yeah, yeah. People are weird, too. Like, I think they, they call it Blue Monday was Monday. That and suddenly like makes sense. A lot of people are worn out and tired, yeah. and you're kind of seeing it. I was talking to some of our client-facing benefits folks, and they're like, people are weird this week. So... It, it's, it's definitely been the case. Yeah, I, I don't know. I, I yeah. don't know why, but that's okay. Well, we're also on day 27 straight of rain or some nonsense like that. So It's nice out this morning. I had to uh, close my blinds because apparently I was too white in this right. uh, right. <laughs> video originally. Yeah, Carrie was like, uh, Carrie came online and the glare from the window was so bright. All I could see were her glasses. So, <laughs> <laughs> Okay. We should talk about a couple things. Um, we want to talk about the future course, but just leaning into yep. that, uh, I just want to mention that our team is uh, spread across the province this week. We've got um, a bunch in Prince George um, yep. at the Natural BC Natural Resources Forum. That's been a huge uh, event. It's just grown every single mm -hmm. year um, and has recovered uh, well from COVID, let me say. I was going to say back in person, really exciting. Yeah. Yeah, our reception uh, co-hosted with the uh, the folks of the Canadian Association of Petroleum Producers last yes. night. It looked like a full house from the pictures I saw. Love um, it. Uh, politicians, uh, stakeholders, business owners, uh, Indigenous leaders, uh, all gathering to, uh, well, eat our food and talk with Amazing. the ICBA folks, yeah. which is awesome, which is great. So totally I've been enjoying good. that. And then... Um, Chris Gardner and a number of our uh, uh, Benefits folks have been at the Truck Loggers Association's nice. uh, annual conference in Vancouver. And, um, you know, one conference is in Prince George, one, one is in Vancouver. They're talking about the same thing. You know, how do we sustainably manage our resource development? How do we keep uh, economic prosperity going? So, yeah, I was good. in Maple Ridge last night uh, at a career fair for students. So that Ooh. was really good trying to talk to people about getting into the trades. So, yeah, it's been a good week. Perfect, perfect. Yeah. All right, but that kind of leads into um, can't talk resource development without talking Indigenous uh, relations uh, in British Columbia, and we have a new featured course coming up. It's free and it's going to yes. help you. And it's January 24th, uh, so register now. So it's building your Indigenous corporate policy. Um, so it's how to build a successful and effective corporate policy. It runs through some objectives to keep in mind, along with best practices to help build the framework that best suits your company's needs. So it's an hour and a half long, um, 1130 to one o'clock on Tuesday, the 24th. So it's going to talk about like the current landscape, for example, turning principles into action, integration with strategic planning, um, the I in IESG, which is Indigenous, obviously, and the little things to keep in mind. And there will also be a bit of a Q&A at the end. So it's going to be a good jam-packed session uh, over Zoom We're in an hour and a half. Yeah, it's uh, it's run by a couple of uh, consultants who've worked with us on many files. Yes. Uh, very experienced in the construction resource development space uh, in working with Indigenous um, groups, Indigenous owners, JVs mm -hmm. as well. Um, lots of different things there. But yeah, you know, we, you know, you're as a company, you know, your Indigenous policy needs to be more than just, you know, we wear orange on orange shirt day, right? Like, right. you know, we, we have to start rethinking uh, the way we interact, the way uh, we build our companies. Um, the laws are changing, uh, yep. consultations changed. So all of this will be covered by, um, by the folks there. And yeah, 90 minutes, it's free. You know, I guarantee you'll learn at least one thing. It'll exactly. be worth your while. And uh, yeah, you can register at the button below or you can go to icbatraining.ca, which, Indeed. by the way, since we moved our course registration system, icbatraining.ca has doubled in its, uh, in its hits and viewership. So mm -hmm. exciting to see um, it continue to grow. And, uh, I thank you know, everyone who has uh, given us website hits, registered for courses over the past couple months, et cetera. So. Exactly. All right. Yeah. And then just shifting gears a little bit um, to Carrie's like, uh, you know, my 70, 70 hour a week job. My babies. Um, yeah. 
we uh, we're about to kick off apprenticeship week, ICBA we uh, open shop apprenticeship week, yep. um, culminating with a big banquet on the thirty first. Uh, oh. Carrie, tell us about the banquet and uh, and uh, you know where we're at with the presses. Yeah, so we are still the single largest sponsor of construction apprentices in BC. We have over 1,400 of them now. Um, we're very proud of this, and I probably say this a lot, but that's okay. Um, and we, but we also want to celebrate the people who are certified. And so for our 2022 certified journey people who were apprenticed under ICBA with ICBA member companies, um, we are going to celebrate them on January the 31st at a nice dinner in Burnaby. Perfect. Yeah. yeah it's a it's a chance. It's like a grad banquet almost, right? Like it's, kind uh, of. Well, that's what we were thinking is that like I graduated from university. I got a nice little walk across the stage moment to get my degree. Most Red Seal trans people don't have that. <laughs> for sure. And uh, and that's really one of the big discussion points about the trades is like this is a four year, it's you know, comparable to university degree and we should be celebrating it as such. So absolutely. Um, Excited for that. We're excited because uh, we're going to lead up to it with some social media. I know some yep. of our open shop companies are busy uh, getting ready to profile their apprentices uh, during that Love week. Um, yeah. And if you're a company out there and uh, or you're an apprentice out there, you, you're looking or someone who would like to be an apprentice, yep. contact Carrie. She can help connect you. Um, she can, you know, for companies or ISB members, she can manage paperwork, all that yes. good stuff. Absolutely. Uh, Carrie, K E R R Y at ICA.ca. <laughs> That's the one. <laughs> perfect. <laughs> Just yeah. making more work for Carrie every day. That's okay. I'm very used to this. That's perfect. <laughs> All right. Um, and don't forget that Indigenous workshop. Again, 90 minutes. You'll learn something. Uh, yep. Sign up now. It's on the 24th. So time is uh, ticking away. Yeah, absolutely. All right. We'll and see uh, you next week. We'll <laughs> during Apprenticeship Week. Exactly. We'll see you all next week during Apprenticeship <laughs> Week. And Carrie will share some, uh, some funny stories about apprenticeships. I oh, I have a few of them. Carrie, remember when we uh, remember when I discovered that there were practice Red Seal tests online? Yes. And I thought this was a great thing. And then I got you know seven out of twenty five on the plumbing one. Yes, wasn't that like on yeah. National Hug a Plumber Day? Yes, exactly. Yeah, I just, that was like, pretty funny. Man, it is tough. Like the things you got to know. Like I had well, no idea. So it, it yeah, it trades is not a low end last resort type situation. No. So you no, have to like, be pretty smart. <laughs> yeah, no, I got seven. I think two were through just kind of like intuitive reasoning and five are just wild guesses <laughs> fantastic <laughs> so uh i will not be challenging for my red seal this year uh, not this year maybe uh, next not year. this year yeah maybe next year uh, okay. it seems unlikely it seems unlikely <laughs> um but uh yeah stay tuned and we'll talk more about apprenticeship week next week sounds good